Ahoy, hoy, hoy! Oh man, what's going on? Let's do this again. Ahoy, hoy, hoy! There we go! East West Center Hilo is a multicultural student organization consisting of students from nine different countries Fiji, Kiribati, Niue, Papua New Guinea, Solomon Islands, Timor Leste, Tonga, United States, and Vietnam. East West Center Hilo is a part of the East West Center based in Honolulu, a nonprofit organization that provides opportunities for international students around the world to study and exchange cultures with the United States. Their performance tonight is a combination of the dances from from the countries represented in the organization. The performance will begin with a dance from Timor Leste, which signifi signifies the value of education for the de development of their new independent country. The second dance is from the island of Niue, and it represents the relationship between God and their nation, signifying the strength and power of men during war to maintain their kingdom. The third dance is from the kingdom of Donga. Malo Elele. That was saying hello in Tonga. Let's do it again. Malo Elele. <laughs> Following that, the dance from Papua New Guinea. Representing the significance of pigs in their culture. The dance from Tokelau highlights the people of Tokelau's struggle, political and environmentally. The final part of the performance is from Fiji, and it represents happiness and joy during festival and celebration. Although these islands in the South Pacific and the Southeast Asia are separate in vast ocean. The students and their multicultural performance show that we can still be united by sharing our culture. Let us welcome our performers representing Timor's Leste and the South Pacific. <laughs> Cody, Cody, Cody. 
Let's give it up one more time for the South Pacific Association. That's what I call fabulous. Pula Vinaka. <laughs> Talofa. Uh, some people are saying Haloha. Talofa. Thank you. Chuk, formerly known as Truk, is one of the four federated states of Micronesia. It is made up of two different groups of islands, the Lagoon Island and the Outer Islands. The Lagoon Islands are large and mountainous and are called Lagoon Island because they are inside a large rings of coral reef. The lagoon contains sunken remains of both the Japanese and American warship from World War II, which make Chuk well known as dive exploration destination. The outer islands are generally small and flat and are clustered in group called atolls. Life and dress in the outer island are more traditional. Often outsiders refer to the outer island as the peaceful paradise. The Chukis have a strong tradition of music and dance. Performances are regularly held during local festivals and on special occasions, as well as for visitors and feature traditional chants, dances, and music. The dance that you are about to see tonight is called the Ma'as, the Mas, or marching dance. This will be performed by the Chukis women. Marching dances are typically performed by a line of female and or male dancers who kick their legs forward and up and upward as the leaders call left, right. Although the origin of the dance is unknown, information suggests that it may have been introduced into the western part of Micronesia from the eastern region in 1920. The western center of the dance's dissemination may have been Angor Island in Palau, where Micronesians forced to mine phosphorus held by competition and exchanges as entertainment. Marching dances flourished throughout Micronesia during the Japanese colonial colonization of the island. Today, the mass dance is still considered a vital aspect of Chukis culture. Tonight, the Chukis performers will dedicate their dance to their ancestors who helped them and taught them the many ways to survive. Let's welcome our next performers, the woman from Chuk in the federal state of Micronesia. Yeah. 